Hi, this is Naomi at Techstar Registry, and today we're talking about the bridesmaid's budget. Now, the bride asks you to be in the wedding, and this is truly an honor. Um, you know, you're so excited, and it's really wonderful to be part of a wedding, for sure, no doubt. But being part of a wedding also means that you're going to have some financial obligations that you're going to have to um, deal with as well. So I just want to kind of give you a little rundown of some of the items that you know may or may not be required of you, um, but just so you kind of got an idea. And then also maybe having the bride be aware of these items as well and be a little bit more conscious when she's choosing certain things um, to be... Um, you know, to be required of you, like for instance, the dress, you know, she doesn't have to choose a $400 dress. Maybe she could choose a $200 dress so that everybody, you know, fits into their budget. Again, this is just suggestions. You're going to have to, you know, everyone's going to deal with their own um, unique situation, but just want to kind of let you know of, you know, what it entails being asked to be in a wedding, just in case it's your first time too. So, first of all, being asked to be in the wedding, once again, is an honor. You should be really excited. It's a lot of fun and um, just being part of it, it's really wonderful. So, but there are some costs. One of the first costs you're going to come across is the bridal shower. And this is usually given by the maid of honor and usually the bridesmaids kind of pitch in and help. I mean, it's there's no really set rule of who's really, um, you know, going to take care of the bill, but everyone usually chips in and helps. So whether everybody chips in, you know, an equal amount or, you know, someone does more than the other, maybe someone gives more, you know, monetary things and the other person gives more of their time. It all works out pretty much if you're working in a group with a group of girls, you all know how, you know, each other's situations and you kind of understand and um, can work from there. So the next thing after the bridal shower is going to be the bachelorette party. And this, again, depending on you know what you guys decide as a group, um, you've got, you can stay home and do like a, you know, a fun party at home. You can go at night on, you know, a night on the town with the girls, have a girls night, or you can have a girls weekend trip, which a lot of people will do because it's fun to get away and have fun but it's going to cost you some money. So just keep, be aware of these items so that you budget yourself um, with your own personal budget. Um, the next thing will be the dress. So choosing the dress uh, is, you know, can be, you know, dresses range from, I don't know, $100 on up and just depending on the taste and styles um, that the bride might choose, maybe she, um, you know, doesn't she tries to choose something a little more affordable for everyone that is also beautiful and cute. Um, most of the time, these dresses aren't really worn again. So maybe if she finds something you guys can wear again, that might be, you know, beneficial to everyone as well. So, and not only do you have to buy the dress, but you also have shoes and accessories and there's all of that stuff. So it will start adding up. The other thing, is makeup, hair, nails. Most girls get these things done because it's just fun to do. But again, these are additional costs that you'll have, you know, prior to the wedding or the wedding day. So just, you know, it's good to know what these costs are. And it just depends on who you hire, obviously. And if the bride requires, um, you know, if she requires you all to have your makeup done, then she should pay for everybody to have their makeup done. Now, um, that's just my, you know, in my experience, but you're going to do what you want to do. So, um, we've got hair, makeup, nails, that's going to cost you. Then, of course, if you have to travel to get to the wedding um, or stay somewhere, you know, because it's an overnight thing or it's too far to drive home, that will cost you some additional money. And most people usually do stay um, wherever the wedding is taking place, just for safety reasons and you know it's fun to hang out the next morning with everyone and um, from the bridal party and the bride and the groom and just having a great time with everyone no one wants the party ever to end uh, and then of course the wedding gift 
So there's a lot of costs. Again, they'll you know be through the months as um, the wedding gets closer and closer. So you know it's not all going to be at once. But just be aware of your budget. Make sure you budget for all of these things. Like I said, it can be from 500 to you know a thousand on up, depending on what your bridal party or what your bride and group decides. So every wedding is different. Uh, just be aware of it. And again, brides, be conscious of your bridal party as well. And, you know, don't put so much pressure on everyone. You know, be thoughtful of their um, situations as well. This is Naomi at Tax Registry, and I will see you tomorrow.